What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I've got a game for game hackers. Uh, if you are interested in assembly or interested in learning assembly or any of that stuff or if you're doing it now, this game is a lot of fun. Um, this is not something I would consider a game for most people. <laughs> this this would be torture for most people, alright? Um, but I love the premise of this game. I, I absolutely love everything about it. So the story goes, basically, I think it's your uncle, he passed away, and you get this bit of hardware that he found at some point and purchased off of someone, and you're trying to figure out what this machine is, and it's looking like it's got some classified or top secret kind of stuff on it or whatever, so anyway... The only way that you can access that information and find that out is to complete these programs and make the machine work. So, uh, for instance, you have these segments. You have to do each of these segments, okay? So before we can access any of these, we have to repair these segments. So you can create a new program on each of these segments. So each segment has its own set of three programs you can create, all right? So I'm going to do the first one here, create new program. All right, now you can't use these. We've got COM failures. But the way it works is that in the debug information, the uncle or whatever figured out how to basically use this section to write little notes and stuff in. So you kind of read this to uh, have the story there for you in each one of these things you try to solve. But anyway, right here is where it's like, okay, do this. So read a value from NX. This is NX. And write the value to out X. There's out X. All right, so we need to do the same thing. Read a value from NA and write the value to out A. So here's NA, here's out A. So here, all right, this is already in there. So if you, you can step through these things and see what happens here. So this is NX. Let's see what happens whenever we step through. All right, you see a number appear here, and this says move up, down. All right, so as you step through, you'll see this number moving. All right, and then it appears here in this list. And as you keep stepping, you see what's going on. Each of these numbers are matching up like they should. So what we have to solve in this first one is over here. We need to get the information from NA to out A. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. And now what you can do is if you hit F1, you have this quick reference sheet for instructions. And these are the instructions for this system. All right, so you're doing assembly, <laughs> basically. Um, and most of it looks like you would see on x86 or wherever else. So um, you have like uh, an ACC register and a back register. So you've got a couple of registers to work with and to do some basic mathematics, add, sub, negate, ACC. So that register, whatever value you have in it, you can do things with it. So it's just a lot of playing around initially to figure out exactly how this works. So we know we need to take the value from here and get it to here. So we can try to, you know, basically looking at the format of this, we want to move up left. Whatever's up, we want to move it left, have it go left. All right, then once the value is here, we're going to move what's right down. So you can think of it like this. You're not moving values in between these segments. You're moving the values where these arrows are. So when you say move up left, you'll see a number appear here, and that's the number that's up. Then you will move it left to this arrow. Then when it says move right down, it's going to move the value here at this right arrow and move it down. See what I mean? So move up down. It's going to move whatever's here down. Move up right and then move left down. And you can step through it or you can run it or you can fast run it. We're going to fast run it. All right, there we go. We've solved that one. All right, and you've got your cycle count and all that stuff. So 
you can continue trying to edit the segment and essentially what you try, want to try to do is make this stuff happen with as few cycles or as few instructions as possible um, and you know if you mess up let's say we did move left <clears throat> uh, ACC so we're going to move that value into the ACC register here and let's try to fast it okay these all ran but this still didn't do anything all right so you'll get that pop-up window whenever you have successfully solved something. Now what you can do is also view the TIS-100 manual and it's actually a PDF and I I printed this thing off personally. Um, <clears throat> so let's get it to where we can size it. So anyway this has a little bit of the story to it you know you can see what looks like some highlighted stuff uh, you can read a little bit about the machines. I mean it's just like 14 pages so it's not like you're downloading a huge manual but it's neat. It gives you the feel of actually going through a piece of hardware or something, you know, and you're learning <laughs> its assembly language uh, for the processor. So um, you have your instructions set here and you can see examples for all these different things. All right. But anyway, so I'm going to go back and click on the second segment create a new program and I'll show you one more thing here so it says read a value from NA and here's NA alright double the value then write the value to out A which is here so we want to read a value from NA so we'll move uh, up right well we see double the value so how do we do that so what you actually want to do is you read the value but you want it to go into the ACC register so we're gonna move up to ACC alright and then you have these things so F1 again so you have add sub right source so what we want to do is we want to add ACC. So if we had a value on the right here we could say like add right and what that would do is add the value on the right to whatever is in ACC. If we had a value from the left and we said or we said add left right that would add whatever that value was to whatever is in ACC but because we're saying ACC because what we first did was move a value into ACC it's going to add whatever value is already in ACC with itself effectively doubling the value okay and then it says write the value to out A so we've moved the value from up into ACC we've added ACC with itself then we're going to move ACC down Alright, move up, down, move up, right, move left, down, and then we can try to fast run this. There we go. Good to go. So, I'm only going to solve those two. They're the easiest, um, but initially it's kind of a pain in the ass to figure out how this stuff works. I'm going to tell you right now, the next segment, this one right here, is where it just instantly starts... <laughs> You have to start familiarizing yourself with the instruction set, all right? So, anyway, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I just wanted to mention this game. I think it is really freaking cool. I love assembly, personally. I just, I love it. I have so much more to learn about it still, but I just love learning about it. And this is a wonderful tool for uh, messing around with it. So, anyway, go check it out on Steam. It's not that expensive at all, and, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're interested in learning about game hacking, go check out some of my cheat engine videos and cheat videos with certain games that I have throughout my channel. And yeah, have a good time. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.